Hi, and welcome to the Business Swings podcast. My name's Christina Petrakis, and today I'm finding out more about setting up a niche photography business. My name's Doug Young. I'm 38 years old, based in London. The business is photoforevents.co.uk, established earlier this year. What did you do before you started the business? Well, previously I've worked in the music business for a number of years and I've also got some previous experience uh, working in photography, doing portraits and assisting on editorial photo shoots. So I had some background in photography already. Did you always want to set up your own business? Well, I'd seen on some websites in the United States that quite a few uh, photographers were doing something called green screen photography at, at events. It looked quite interesting, so I I thought it had the potential to become a a good business. And it's quite a unique idea. Why did you decide to do this kind of specific photography? Well, it covers a broad spectrum of disciplines. There's advertising, weddings and editorial. And it's all very competitive, so um, you you need to create a niche for yourself. Generally, people need to have a very good reason for having their photo taken, also to get them to pay for it. One of the, the reasons I thought green screen had the edge is really that it creates an endless number of reasons for a customer to want to be photographed because we put them in different scenarios that they they don't usually experience in everyday life so it's it's a bit of uh, fantasy and escapism. How did you finance the business startup? So far the costs haven't been too high you know I already had some of the equipment that that I I needed Things that I don't have, what I tend to do is hire the, hire the equipment uh, for particular jobs, which it keeps the outgoings down. I've also used uh, credit cards to buy things as well. It's, it's generally cheaper to get a 0% on a credit card than it is to uh, get a bank loan these days. Yeah, definitely. And are you um, freelance or do you have an office? How, how is that set up? I'm freelance at the moment. Yeah, hopefully. I'm looking at ways to expand the business in the future, so um, things might develop in the next year or so. At the moment, it's kind of home-based. Yeah, that's another way to keep costs down, is to be um, based from home. And what advice would you give someone who wants to get into the photography industry? I'd say look carefully at the reasons why a customer would want to buy your product or service. Some businesses are lucky because they're always going to have customers, supermarkets selling food and things like that. But with photography, it's very discretionary. You have to really identify who the customers might be and what would motivate them to buy buy the product. You know, I'd, I'd say it, it takes a long time as well. So yeah, don't give up at first hurdle. Uh, keep going for a while and see how things go. And in terms of, you mentioned you have future plans for the business. What, what are some of these plans? With green screen photography, there's potentially other business models that it could be used in. So potentially in retail, on uh, BBC's Apprentice show, they had green screen in a shopping centre. That's something that I'm looking into. Hopefully might be able to do it better than they did. (laughs)